Good afternoon. I want to welcome all of you in. Today we're going to be talking about the skills you need to become a good driver. Um, we're going to also discuss basic maneuvers. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I want to welcome you in. Hello, how are you doing? Shiloh, hello, Brianna, how you doing? I want to welcome you in. Happy New Year. I'm just here chilling, eating my ice cream, relaxing. If you have questions, type them in. I'm a state certified driving instructor. What's up, Junior? I teach teens and adults. Had a real happy new year. Hopefully you guys had a happy new year also. I love ice cream. Hopefully you guys do too. We're going to be talking about maneuvers today. This is your driver's education class. While I'll be in front of you, you can ask questions. What's up, Manny? Go, Mass. Um, you can ask questions. And then later today, I'll do the actual transparencies where it adjusts be the transparency. And then you can ask questions. I want to welcome you in. The first thing all of you need to do. Sorry, I don't want to talk my mouthful. First thing all of you need to do is start your vehicle. Most of the cars you guys will be driving are push to start. You'll have a key fob. Okay, so like, let's pretend this is a pencil sharpener, but let's pretend this is a key fob. There'll be an electrical device in here. You'll put this in your pocket, and then you'll be able to get into your car, lock your door, and push the button. That'll be your key fob, okay? There are also some cars that have keys. Uh, a lot of them still do have keys, and you'll have to actually put the key into the ignition, and that could be on the column of the steering wheel or on the dashboard. If you have questions, go ahead and put them in. My New Year's was really nice. What's up, Kevin? How you doing? If our things are good. Number two is acceleration. I'll be on here for about a half an hour. Number two is acceleration. If you jam the gas, the car's going to take off. What's up, Geo Savage? So you want to squeeze the brake really easy. I'm a driver's head instructor from the Midwest. I'm here to help you get prepared to get your license, get your permit, pass your road test. Put those questions in there. The gas pedal is usually... It's like a long pedal. Then you gradually push it, and then you accelerate. If you hit the pedal too hard, then you're going to end up flying too fast. Let's talk about braking. You want to squeeze your brake. Kevin, lessons cost anywhere from $55 an hour on up to about $125 an hour. It depends on what state you're in, what region of the United States you're in. On average, $55 to $125. What's up, Jay? Great question, Kevin. Um, they usually sell packages. The packages are anywhere from $255 to $375, $455. So uh, do some research, call around, check online. There's some pretty good companies out there. Great question, Kevin. Ask these questions. I'm here chilling, eating my strawberry ice cream. It's a strawberry shortcake. Great question. What's up, Bethesda? How are you? Is it better to do it online in person? I think it depends on you. Um, I used to do, sorry, my muscle. I used to do driver's ed in person. Loved it, having fun, cahoots, Quizlet, Takis, just having a ball. But 
after COVID, I had an opportunity to do it online. And I think it's 2024 now and beyond. I think a lot of people want to have convenience. Okay. You can be in your, you can be upstairs in your room. You could stand in your closet. You could be at the kitchen table with your family. Um, I think online driver's ed offers a convenience if you have a good instructor, a good instructor who really explains it and talks to you, then you're going to have a good experience. There's still a few places that have it online, but you've got to get a building. Thank you. You've got to get a building. You got to get people in the building. You got to pay rent. So, um, it depends on your lifestyle. And if you work, you're going to have to class is two hours. It could be three to five, five to seven, seven to nine. You got to have 24 hours of class. What's up, Janelle? Got to have 24 hours of class, six hours of driving. Okay. Good question. So I think it depends on you. I mean, potatoes. I need my ice cream. Got a strawberry shortcake. Let's, let's talk about stopping. You need to use the ball of your foot and squeeze the brake. What's up, Jack? You're going to have to squeeze the brake. And when you squeeze the brake, it will push hydraulic fluid through the lines. If I'm 21 and don't have my license or permit, what should I do to get started? I got you. You're going to have to go to Secretary of State. They're going to um, give you a booklet. It goes over all the rules. You're going to have to take a test. It could be 21 questions, 24 questions, 35 questions. Cost $20, $25. Then you pass the test. You take an eye test. You'll get something called a TIP. A TIP is a temporary instruction permit. Okay? Okay. You'll drive for 30 days, then you'll come back and actually take your road test. What's up, Alyssa? What's up, Jay? So I would get started. Don't wait. It's a personal decision. Okay. I mean, potato skins with ranch on there. I'm going to share that with you. I'm good. So we're chilling. So go ahead and get it done. You got to have a way to get there. When did I start driving? I went through public school. A lot of places don't have it. I think I was in 10th grade. Or maybe the beginning of my 11th grade year. I took it as a class. And uh, after the class is over, I used my dad's car and uh, went to Secretary of State. I was really nervous. I took the test and then I passed it. Good question. Thank you, Jay. Jay, drop a heart, drop a like. Keep uh, keep asking those questions. I'm here smashing this strawberry shortcake ice cream. After the temporary permit, what happens? Okay, you got your temporary permit. You're going to drive for 30 days. Okay? You're going to drive for 30 days. Um... After you drive for 30 days, you should be confident enough to take your road test, right? What's up, Kev? And you should pass it if you're working on turns, parking, right of way, lane changing, getting in and out of traffic. Kevin, what made me start teaching? I had some great high school teachers. I had some really good college teachers. What's up, Elijah? That's, that's an awesome question. I had some really good high school college teachers who really said, hey, you know, you got a passion. So, yeah, I was blessed. And then uh, I was given some good advice to start teaching. So you, after you get that permit, you got to start driving. You can't just sit there. If you sit there, you won't learn. You know, maybe you and your uncle could go out, auntie. Cousins. I have a lot of girl cousins. So I used to go driving with my girl cousins. It was really fun. So you got to drive, get your practice, 
And then when you feel confident, go take that road test. Okay, that's a great question. Keep it up. What's up, Alexis? What's up, G? I'm over eating these uh, potatoes. They're pretty good. Keep asking questions. This is the first part of class. Are oh, you going to see my face? You could ask me questions. Okay. Thank you, B. What's up? You got questions, put them in. And I think a lot of people, there are a lot of manuals where you have a five speed. Up is one, down is two, up is three, down is four. So you got to learn how to drive a manual. In many cases around the world, there are cars that have manuals. Uh, Australia drives on the left. We drive on the right. Um, the UK drives on the left. We drive on the right. What's up, Ace? What's up, B-Man? Um, I had a nice Christmas. Did you guys have a good Christmas? Are you excited for the new year? Kevin, got a question. Are you from Texas? What's up, sad girl? Why you sad? Be happy. This is the first part of class where you can ask me questions. I want you to help me reach my goal. My goal is 10,000. If I answer your question, I got my driver's test today. Any pro tips? Good speed control. Don't speed. Don't run lights. Know the rules of the right of way. And that's relax and be yourself. You know, talk to your road tester. They're very supportive. They do care. I'm finishing up my strawberry shortcake. Ice cream is pretty good. I'm going through some common things that you need to know. Another pro tip is just relax and feel comfortable. You'll be a little bit nervous. I was nervous when I took my test. But you just want to take your time and do a good job. Right? Do your best. What's a good app to get my permit? Um, there are a lot of apps out there. I can't specifically name one app. You're going to have to look in the Google Play Store if you have an Android. If you have the other side, look in the Google Play Store. I may be putting together an app too. You guys let me know what you need. What's up, Sophia? What's up, Millie? 85. What's up, Deidre? Chelsea? Steering. I think that's a very good topic. You want to have your hands at 9 and 3, 10 and 2, or 7 and 5. There's more than one way to turn the steering wheel. What's up? Hey, how are you doing? Um, some people palm the wheel, right? There's more than one way to turn the steering wheel. This is the first part of your class where you're going to see my face and I'm answering your questions. Passed my driver's test yesterday, Chelsea. Yes, that is so great. And now you, you pass that test, start driving. Take your mom around, take your dad around, right? What's up, Kayla? So take your parents around, get them comfortable. Permit tests, have good speed control. Um, know the rules of the right of way. Focus on being a defensive driver. What's up, Jay? What do I do if I'm not tall enough to see over the dashboard? You're gonna have to put a polo under you. I've had some students like that. Typically, it's students who are, I got about 15 minutes, guys, tap in those questions. Typically, it's students who are under four foot eleven. What's up, Tylenol? What's up, Clear? Those students are the four foot eleven. You got to have a polo under there so you can see over the dashboard. How do you maintain lane position? You want to look ahead. I have some videos that are on there right now that you need to look at. You want to focus on lane positioning. You want to aim high and look ahead, just like walking down the hallway. What's up, Jay? Right, smashing my strawberry shortcake ice cream. 
What type of ice cream do you like? What's up, Marcus? Marco? So that's those questions. How do I park on the right side? You want to go about five miles an hour, three miles an hour, have your foot on the brick. You want to turn your steering wheel slowly to the right. The, the front of the car will go in by the curb. The rear will follow in at an angle. What's up, Big Swarmus? Got to go slow. You cannot hit the curb. If you hit the curb or you're too far away, you will receive a ticket. So you have to practice your parking. I have some videos that I posted on there too on parking. I mean some potatoes. Answering your questions, type of mail. Yep. So you want to stay within the designated lines. There's a line on the left, a broken white line. Many of you are from the United States. So we have pavement markings. We have a broken white line to the left of us. This means you can change lanes. What's up, Mar? We have a solid white line to the right. That's called the edge line or fog line. What's up, Austin? What's up, Jace? So you want to take your time and practice getting your car centered. You want to look ahead, aim high. You have to have lane control and good lane positioning. A lot of beginning drivers just drift off the road to the right. So you're going to have to look and aim high. A lot of beginners look down at the speedometer. Look ahead. I like the questions. Keep going. Hey, Paula. How are you? This is your first part of Drivers Ed for 2024. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. What's up, Maddie? What's up, Drew? What's up, Mary? Sophia? How are you? You got a question about Drivers Ed? Type it in. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach in the Midwest. You want to use your turn signals 100 feet or half a block. This gives people, God save the queen. Hey, Haley, this gives people behind you a chance to slow down. And when they slow down, you're going to have a smoother turn. A lot of beginners go too fast into the turn. Turning left or right. You want to make your turn smoothly. What's up, Frank? You want to make your turn smoothly. You want to go in slow and accelerate out. Got about 10 minutes. You got questions, put them in. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. I'll shout you out. What's up, Spuds? So you have to be able to maneuver your car. You got to be able to make a turn. What's up, Diego? Cato. And good speed control is really important. You have to practice that hand over hand into the turn, that hand over hand out of your turn. Smashing these potatoes. Parallel parking. If you don't practice, you're going to struggle. So you want to line your car up. You want to reverse back. Cut it to the right. What's up, Veronica? Go in in an angle. What's up, Isabel? So you want to work on good speed control. You want to work on turning that wheel all the way to the right. The rear will go into the right. The front will swing out to the left. And once you get halfway, you turn the wheel back. What's up, love, Mary? Angle parking. Uh, you see those at school parking lots. You see those angle parking spots where they're at an angle. And when you, there's an arrow. Okay, we're going from the top of the parking lot down. You can turn left or right. Um, Grizz, Grizzly, it depends on, um, in the United States, the max speed is 70 or 75 miles an hour. If you're in another part of the world, like the Autobahn, uh, you can drive at that speed. Just got my license today. No, what is up? I'm so happy for you. So happy for you. Okay, we got about seven or eight more minutes. Ask those questions. What's up, Tyler? We're talking about driver's education. Three-point turnaround. I've demonstrated some of those. Drew said, is the behind-the-wheel test required to already know how to drive? Well, Drew, if you know how to drive you still have to demonstrate that to a state certified road tester. Okay. So it is required. Either you're going to wait till you're 18 
and go to Secretary of State and get your temporary instruction permit, or you're going to get enrolled in a state authorized driver's education program, and you're going to be in there for four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. What's up, Tara? It depends on the state you're in. What's up, Randy? So uh, those are some of the tips I will point out to you. A lot of students know how to drive because mom and dad kind of snuck you out. But when you're there with the actual driving teacher like myself and they're asking you to make a left turn and you panic or they're asking you to make a lane change and you don't look over your shoulder. I mean, behind the wheel, yes, uh, depends how old you are. If you're under 18, it's advised that you take some driver's ed lessons. Uh, I drive, but I'm good. I have to parallel park. Uh, how, but how do I parallel park? Okay, you need to drive on your street. And what's up, Drizzy? You need to drive on your street, find a car, pull up to that car, and then reverse back at a 45 angle, turn the wheel all the way to the left. You have to demonstrate control of that car. You have to know how to parallel park. And you want to practice that consistently downtown Chicago, downtown New York, downtown Dallas, downtown Detroit. You've got to practice that over and over and over so you feel comfortable. Got about three or four minutes. Ask those questions. Hey, Maggie, how are you doing? What's going on? I want to welcome you in. Uh, entering traffic. A lot of beginners go too slow. They panic. They missed a break. So what I need you guys to do is go with the flow of the traffic. If you're on the side street, you're waiting to accelerate. And then you look for a gap or a space. A gap is a space, right? I'm pretty good at staying on the speed limit. Um, you do, Tyler, you do have to be as safe as possible. Hey, Jackie, how are you? Um, and you want to go with the flow of the traffic. Typically, a lot of beginners uh, go too slow. And if you go too slow, you're going to hold up the traffic. So go with the flow of the traffic. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. Go ahead, ask your questions. What's up, Bryson? Type in those questions. If I answer your question, drop a star, drop a like. Yield the right of way. A lot of beginners do not understand the right of way. If you have a sign... Thank you. Thank you, E. If you have a sign, hi, how are you? You have to stop. If you have a yield sign, you have to yield and slow down. If you have a stop sign, what's up, Ash? What's up, Andrew? You have to stop for a minimum of three seconds. 1,001, 1,002, and 1,003. Hello, E. How are you? Uh, dealing with roundabouts, you want to yield and look for traffic, right? And take your time, and if a car or truck is in their yield, let them go in and out, and then you continue. Ask more questions. So what's up, g Dog? You wanna maintain speed, adapt your speed to the road conditions and the speed limit. You wanna use your headlights whenever traffic is bad. Um, to let people know what you're doing. What's up, bro? Navigating curves, go in slow to your curves and accelerate out. If you just popped in, I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. Let's go ahead and ask some questions here. I want to encourage you to send gifts and thank you for your support. I'm blessed to uh, help you guys and, and be here. So what's up, Vengeance? Go ahead and ask questions. And I'm appreciative to all of you who are taking the time to support, right? That's uh, one of the most important things, that you support your uh, content creator. He or she is really trying to spread a good message, helping people, whether it's makeup, acting, learning how to drive. My area is driver's education. And... I want to help you bring in the new year uh, and do a good job. So ask these questions. Uh, handling emergency situations, you want to reduce your speed. You want to take your time. Uh, what's up, Jay? And 
allow the emergency vehicle to pass you. You got to pull over to the right side of the road. And then once they go by, you're good. Ask those questions. Usually in windshield wipers, there is a knob or lever you flip up or down or maybe on the blinker. Um, on most cars, the blinker's on the left side, so you want to use your left finger or pinky to push it on. A lot of beginners actually, what's up, uh, Alex? Uh, MX, a lot of people uh, turn on, a lot of beginners turn on the uh, blinker, uh, turn on a wiper accidentally. Go ahead and ask, what's up, yes? So you have to know and don't panic. A lot of beginners panic, so you want to relax. You want to ask those questions. What's up, Nero? Thank you. Um, what's up, Sierra? Uh, you want to observe traffic signs. Uh, a lot of beginners are overwhelmed with yield signs, stop signs, speed limit signs. Thank you, Christina, 88. I appreciate you for supporting. Um, and I try to just take my time with my students. Your instructor should be, what's up, Jays? Uh, I try to take my time with my students, encourage them to do well. I'm getting some more of this strawberry shortcake ice cream. It's strawberry, strawberry berry, berries and cream, right? You want to adjust your mirror. You want to frame the rear window in the mirror. You have a mirror to the left, a mirror to the right. You want to look straight ahead and bring those mirrors in so you can see uh, a little bit of the door handle. Keep asking those questions. Got about five minutes left. Using your hazard lights, there is a triangle that you would push. And your flashers will come on on the front of the car and then your rear flashers. So this lets people know there is an emergency situation. So keep asking the questions. They love Amanda. Okay. Hey, Amanda, how are you? Lane changes. You want to maintain good speed control. You want to accelerate through your turn. And you have to be patient. You got to be patient. And if you're not patient, you're going to end up making more mistakes. So I think the biggest thing I want to see in drivers is just being patient. I think that's really important that you are patient. Keep asking questions. You guys are doing great. Hey, Mayor. How are you? I follow you. I look at all your stuff. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you for liking my live. Would you like to come on and uh, co-host with me? I would love to have you come on for a few minutes. That would be awesome if you have the time. I'm, I'm doing good. Did you have a happy new year? Hopefully you did. We do have to go on together sometime. Uh, just talk about general driving stuff. Uh, not anything too personal. If you have the time, I would love to send you an invite. At work. I get it, girl. I'm off until uh, this Saturday. But uh, we'll figure it out. And then I think it, it could bring some value for you as well as me. Because you're an awesome creator. And I do really appreciate you. So things are going good. I'm doing good. Had a good uh, New Year. Uh, making good content. Uh, going live more. And just uh, helping people become comfortable learning how to drive. Um, you want to obey the speed limit. Oh, you switched stores. Okay. I did not know that. Um, and, you know, you're a very hardworking person. So nothing but respect for you and admiration. Truly, you work hard. Um so you want to obey the speed limit, you want to go with the flow of the traffic, and you want to have great speed control. Mary, if you could uh, drop, you know, a diamond, a popsicle, a star, whatever's there, I really appreciate it. It's nice to see you, too. And uh, whenever you come on on my feed, I'll, I'll follow you and jump in, too. So you're awesome. So, you know, passing another vehicle, you've got to get your speed up. You have to make lane changes. And uh, you've got to be able to understand space. A lot of beginners don't look over their shoulder. And if you don't look over your shoulder, you're going to end up cutting off a car. So we don't want you to cut off a car. 
I'm going to go over a couple more things. If you've got any more questions, put them in. How do you maintain vehicle control? You keep control by going with the flow of the traffic. You recognize if you're in heavy traffic, a suburbary, if you're in heavy traffic, you're going to have to reduce your speed. I say have good speed, good space, and a smile. So I'm going to tap it in. You want to have good speed, space, and a smile. That's what I want my drivers to have. Have good speed, have good space, and a smile. And this way you're comfortable. Good instructors allow you to make mistakes. Uh, no one is perfect. We understand this. I teach in the Midwest. Sharing the road with bicycles. Bicycles are entitled to a full portion of the lane. Um, they have to signal uh, this is for a right. This is for a left. And this means I want to slow down. Okay. Um, bicyclists also should have a helmet on. They should be going with the flow of the traffic. Okay. Let's keep it going. Keep asking questions. Share the road with larger vehicles. Understand blind spots and given space of larger vehicles. What's up, Lauren? Larger vehicles need more room. Larger vehicles, such as trucks, have big blind spots. There are four blind spots, left side, right side, front, and back. So you want to get in and out of those blind spots as quickly as possible. Let's have Joe Mama. Um, let's have Samantha. So you want to give those vehicles space. You want to give them time to get in and out of the blind spot. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm going to go through about three more. And then uh, I'm going to end this live, and then I'll go on later. So type in those questions you may have. Uh, using parking brakes. Um, if you're parking downhill, you want to pull up that park brake. Okay? And you want to turn your wheel all the way to the right because you're parking downhill. If the park brakes fail, the car will go into the curb. The curb will stop the car from going downhill. If you're parking uphill, you want to turn your wheels away from the curb. You put it in the park and you pull up that park brake. Good question. How do you handle fatigue? Well, we need to get our rest. If you're really tired, you need to pull over to a safe area. You need to take your time. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you. I'll be going live later today. And I'll do an interactive class portion. Bye, guys.